We had rocks deposited, all of them uplifted, but then you just have rocks high into the air. So what made the canyon is then erosion. And again, that took a lot of time too. Um, Erosion first started, and this is amazing. So I want you to go to the Warner Point Trail um, because you can look to the north and you can see the West Elk Mountains and you can look to the south and you can see the San Juan Mountains. And you go, oh, those are beautiful. They are. But if you were here... 25, 30, 35 million years ago, those beautiful mountains were volcanoes and they were erupting. Um, And I was a little kid in Washington State. Um, I was around when Mount St. Helens blew up. In fact, I was 45 miles north of it. And I thought, oh, the world's blowing up. It was a powerful volcano. These volcanoes, thousands of times more energy thousands of times more destructive. Geologists tell us some of the biggest volcanic events on our planet's history. Okay, so this is blowing up and it's dropping ash and breccia and debris all across this region and right on top of our Gunnison uplifted rocks that we just talked about in miles of ash and debris. So pretty exciting. Okay, and when you have high mountains around, now our uplift is kind of trapped between the two mountains. Mountains have snow, snow melts, snow melt creates rivers, and rivers and drainages started flowing through here. Yes, there was an ancestral Gunnison River, and yes, it started carving through the ash and the sedimentary rocks I told you about. It's easy to carve through sedimentary rocks. Is it easy to carve through metamorphic and igneous? Don't think so. No, not at all. (laughs) No, this is where our story really is. I mean, the whole thing's interesting, but this is perplexing. That river hit the basement rocks. It's about two million years ago, okay? And it stuck because it had those volcanoes trapping it in. It can't go around like all the explorers of the past have. They've just gone around this canyon. But the river couldn't, and it had to go down. 